harassment.
the final? Who's the final? Well, I won't be in the final, but I'll be there. Hey, you got four teammates to cheer here. No, I'm going with my brother and uh, oh. Sam's team and my team. Okay, so, so you're cheering uh, the team. I don't think we're making the final. All right, thanks for everybody joining us on Facebook Live. I'm $2 Phil Bradlow, getting everything ready for this stepladder final. As we have both semi, both uh, stepladders running concurrently, so yeah, you gotta pay attention. We'll be switching back and forth between those two stepladders. And we'll try to mix up the look and such as well. Had a late pair change for the stepladder, so we have nine and 10 for our PBA standard division stepladder. There you see Chris Hill and Tim Grunler finishing up their practice. In the back part of your picture, in the front part of your picture, in the foreground, Scott Raines and Anthony Jovanovic will be your leadoff match in the PBA 50 stepladder. We'll give you the full rundown in a few minutes. We've got some sponsors to thank. Of course, Plaza Lanes, Gary Elstadt and his staff, thanks for bringing us down. They've been great all weekend long. Also, thanks to our season-long sponsors with BowlerX.com. For the love of the game, it's always fast free shipping, BowlerX.com, and H5G Brands. Check out the new Brad and Kyle merchandise. Check out some of the great new designs coming from some great young designers at H5GBrands.com. A little more practice, and we'll get you underway with the stepladders in about five minutes.
They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. ready for that stepladder final both running concurrently down in the back of your screen there you see the players practicing Chris Hill and Tim Grindler getting ready for the stepladder for the PBA standard division of this Midwest Invitational and in the foreground you've got Scott Rains and Anthony Yovanovich they'll be your opening match Way in the wings in the standard division, Bailey Maverick, your two seed, Kevin McCune, your one seed in the PBA 50 division, Brian Kretzer, your two seed, McCune of the Eugene variety, your one seed. So a pretty good weekend to this point for the McCune family. How awesome would it be and what a story it would be to have both the McCunes win this event. I mean, we have to stay impartial as a media member on the scene but when you talk about going for the story uh, it's definitely it and we will be underway after Toby's announcements here Toby Contreras taking care of business once again here Here we go. I'm sure these players will be alternating shots all the way through, so that's going to make sure nobody's throwing anyone off. So we'll see who fires first here, whether it's going to be Hill or Ivanovich. Hill's been elected to start by Grunler. Grunler, the higher seed in that match. Ivanovich, the higher seed in his match as we wait for the scoreboards to fully reset. And we are going to be underway. So I'm $2 Phil Bryla bringing you all the action here. We've brought it to you all weekend long. Here from Plaza Lanes in Washington, Illinois. And still fires first, leaves the four pin. Yovanovich fires, trips the nine out. So Yovanovich with the early strike. He'll fire at that four pin. And no problem with the cover. As we see our first look today at Scott Rains. Bowlers are bowling on a fresh application of this 42 foot Mark Roth pattern. It's played a little tougher than expected all weekend long. Bowlers seem to find a way to make it happen early on. And Gruner trips the 4 9. So Gruner with the early start. And Reigns with the cover. So once again, two matches at once. We'll do our best to get you back and forth between both matches. As you see those players getting ready to fire. 
And Gruner will take to the approach. And Rain's fired at the same time. And I'm Rain's tripped the four pin again. Gruner, I don't know if he was ready for these players to be firing in another direction. So we'll have to see. I mean, the standard shot clock rules. If you can make things happen, great. We're not in a rush. I mean, there's a couple thousand dollars in money on the line here. As Grunler slides it in front of the four pin. My goodness. Jovanovic early double. Quality toss there by Jovanovic. Hill will be looking to take advantage of your score on our standard division match. There's your score with Jovanovic on that double. So Ivanovich got the three-bagger on the board. There's Hill, stone seven, as he tried to get his double. And Hill will take to the lanes first. He'll get spare reins. Looking for a three-bagger. Oh, no. Oh, my. And the pocket 7-10 rears its ugly head. Now let's see what reigns to do here. Get the one. Maybe get the one in a million bounce. Not going to happen. Over to Grunler. Working on an open. And he stays within 14. In his match. Now Yovanovich can be stepping up. We're getting a three-bagger, fourth frame. Looking at getting a big lead early. And Yovanovich with the splasher. There's your four bagger. Gruner working on a spare up by 14 in the fourth. And wow, that is a blast of a 4 7 there for Gruner. Ivanovic, strike here, gets him up by 46 in the fifth frame. See some of the players, hear some of the players practicing. A little farther down the lane. And Ivanovic, front five. Grunler did convert that 4-7. So Grunler down by 14. Hill will step up first. But Reigns will fire first. 
Reigns, no love in the light mix. Hill packs 10 back. Hill keeps himself up by 14. And Reigns finding himself down by a bunch. Working on a strike for fame, fifth frame. Thanks everybody for joining us today. Do us a favor, man. Hit that share button. It's pretty impressive right now that we've got Eugene and Kevin McCune both going for Midwest Invitational titles here this afternoon. Rains down 46, and that is not pretty at all with that 2-8-10. Grunler actually reigns, fires first, gets the two. Now Grunler down by 24. And that light eight pin, boy, yeah, this Mark Roth pattern today has just been Real tricky for the players. Yeah, Zhivanovic now steps up. On the front five, Brian Kretz are waiting the wings here for the PBA 50. There's front six. Halfway there for Yovanovich. And Grunler down by 25. Your 2C there, you see Bailey Maverick way down on the end. You'll hear his bowling ball leave his hand in a minute. As he's waiting for the winner of the Hill Grunler match. He's going to fire first. Grindler fires first. Mixes him up. Jovanovic front seven. How about that? For the man from DeKalb, Illinois. You don't have to write it in ink yet, but I think Scott Raines knows the feeling. Yeah, his time is about over in this stepladder. Hill looking to get his lead out to 35. Three bagger, there you go. And a big game here by Hill. He snuck in last night with a big game, and Nate Purchase falling out. The top six to advance on the standard division side, PBA 50 side. Reigns came in and knocked down a number two seed, Tom Adcock, in our earlier match play round this morning. It may be too little too late for Reigns, though. However, we've seen some strange things happen on players of the front seven, and it's still 220 range possible for Reigns. Hill, take it out to 45. Ivanovich, eighth frame, front seven, already in hand. And this one's pretty much all but over. If he gets it, there you go, front eight for Ivanovich. Now it's up to Grunler trying to knock his deficit back down, working on a strike, now make it a double. 235 possible for Grunler, but you're looking at a game in the 250s possible by Chris Hill. Okay. 
Ivanovic. Foundation frame. Mixes them up nicely. We got a front nine. Hit that share button on the Facebook live feed. Tell your friends and family. Someone's going for 300, and unfortunately for Tim Grunler, uh, he's going after an open frame here. Reigns knows it's over. Let's still get the 222. Still a great showing this weekend for Reigns. And a must make here for Tim Grunler, and that's not going to happen. Gets two. Chris Hill looking to seal the deal. Wow. And suddenly the 70 foot lane needed to come into play. But still, Hill looking at a 50 pin lead with a couple of frames to go. And Scott Rain's going to be in the two teens. Not a bad showing. But when your opponent throws the front bunch at you, Not much you can do. So Brian Kretz will be facing Anthony Jovanovic in our second step ladder on the PBA 50 side of things. And now it's up to this man right here. Anthony Jovanovic stepping up 10th frame, bid for perfection. On target line, staring it down, 10 back, perfectly flush for Jovanovic. <laughs> I think Eugene McCune's his biggest, Jovanovic's biggest fan right now because he knows it's, it's hard to keep the momentum going after shooting a perfect game. Eugene waiting, and there's our top seed. That's going to be Lockjaws for Chris Hill. Now, Jovanovic looking for 11 in a row. How about that? Five takes it down. And a chance for perfection in PBA competition for Anthony Jovanovic here in our opening stepladder match. Win in hand, looking for perfection. Runs it out a little bit, comes up a bit light, rolls one, 298. For Jovanovic as a fake boo comes out from the crowd, but how about that? Great finish for Anthony Jovanovic. Scott Reigns is going to finish in. fourth place in the PBA 50 division. Tim Grunler just finishing off his 10th frame. Over in the PBA standard division match. And so both top seeds, Eugene and Kevin McCune, for the 50 and standard respectively, you'll get some practice. Your number two seed, Brian Kretzer, will face Jovanovic on the PBA 50 side. He'll get some practice as well. Bailey Maverick will get some practice in his match coming up against Chris Hill. So thanks, everybody, for joining us today. And we'll have your second step ladder matches coming up shortly. You're from... Plaza Lanes in Washington, Illinois. And the PBA and PBA 50. 
Midwest Invitationals roll on after some practice. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. So we still have Brian Kretzer and Bailey Maverick taking practice for their respective pairs. Maverick will be battling Chris Hill in the standard division. While Brian Kretzer will battle Anthony Ivanovich. in the PB50 division. Sorry about that, something just caught my eye. So once again, Maverick Hill, PBA standard. They're in the back of your screen right now. Kretzer Jovanovic, PBA 50, they'll be in the front of your screen. after Toby Contreras makes the announcements. Once again, I want to thank our season-long sponsors that help bring these great live streams to you. You just saw the excitement of 298 for Jovanovic in game one. BowlerX.com, always fast free shipping. And H5G Brands, be bold, be creative, be original. We don't have a microphone, unfortunately, on Toby Contreras, but he's making announcements. Let everybody know in the crowd what they're going to see this game. And we will be underway with our first tosses. And Jovanovic will fire first. And the 
four pin for Ivanovic. Winning in a re-rack for Maverick. So this should be dead straight at the four for Ivanovic. And the spare. Brian Kretzer came out of this morning's match play round. Three game total pin match against Larry Verbal. And it was close. It was one pin getting down into the third game. Verbal found some trouble early. And Maverick starting off that match against Chris Hill. Maverick with a strike. You'll see Kretzer come into your picture here. First frame for Kretzer. Final score, 659 Kretzer, 619 for Larry Verbal. And Kretzer was on this pair during the match play block this morning, but it was a fresh application of the Mark Roth pattern, 42 feet in length, 4.4 to 1 the ratio. Outside to in as Chris Hill wraps a 10 the first frame. Kretzer 3 6 10. Gets them all to fall. And Kretzer, you see, not happy with that first toss in this match, but he's even. Spare, spare for Kretzer and Yovanovich, respectively. Hill looking for the spare. He fills his first frame. Maverick with the strike. Now Kretzer. Second frame. Winner of this PBA 50 match goes on to face Eugene McCune. And now Kretzer, we've well, seen him get up on his toes in the past. That went a little too far on the toes. Not enough leverage. And the 2 8 remains for Kretzer. Hill likes it. 10 back. Kretzer covers them both. So 18 in the first, spare in the second for Kretzer. Yovanovich stepping up in the second frame on the spare. There you see Bailey Maverick in the pink and black in the background. Maverick stepping on lane 10. Urethane in hand. We did see a couple players try to combat this 42 feet foot pattern with urethane this weekend, but most weren't successful. Maverick gets the 10 to go, and Yovanovich, as you see there, nothing left on the deck. So Yovanovich with a two pin advantage. Make it 10 pins currently for Maverick. After his opening double with Hill working spare strike through two. It's interesting, usually players don't want to be distracted by when well, it's as quiet as it is in here. But they're going at pretty much the same time. Three bagger for Maverick, double for Yovanovich. And Hill and Kretzer find themselves stepping up in their respective third frames down in this game. Winner of the Maverick Hill match gets another McCune. This one of the Kevin variety coming up in the championship match. No matter what, it's newsworthy already. Whether it's the championship match that both win or one may not win for the McCunes, but it's a good day. Great toss by Hill over to Kretzer. Gets them all the fall for the first time this game. But Kretzer finds himself down by 22. Knock that back down to 12. Hill finds himself down by 10. Hill working on a double. And 
Hill will step up first in the fourth frame. Ooh, comes high. Big break there, leaving just the 6 10. And Kretzer, nine trips forward for Kretzer. Double on the board. Basically back to even. For Kretzer and Jovanovic. Hill gets them both. Jovanovic working on the double. Looking to get back out ahead by 12. If he can pop one here, you see how very direct he's playing. And that ball just lagged a hair. Get into the pocket. And the flat 10, the result for Ivanovic. Maverick on the three bagger. Make it four. Ivanovic on that spare. Ivanovic up by a pin. As you see, a score sheet on the PBA 50 side of the equation. And the early four bagger for Maverick. On the PBA standard semifinal match. Ivanovich, beverage frame. A little late. Maybe not enough. In the fingers department there for the 2 8. Maverick looking for front five. Not going to happen. Almost got a little tease of the two. But a good early lead for Maverick reaching the halfway point in this game. Ivanovich needs that one to sit, and it does. So Kretzer, he get himself out. With a little advantage here. Quality cover. There's your scoreboard. The standard division, there's your Kretzer error, my goodness. And you see there, he's not happy. With the footwork over to Hill. Hill finds himself down by 21 at this point, working on a spare. And the six. Falls asleep before it gets to the 10 pin. Kretzer giving this 2 6 10 a shot. No go, no count. Ouch. And that could really bite him in the backside later on. As Hill looking to stay within 22 of Maverick. Gets that cover. There's your scoreboard. Their standard division. There's Kretzer wasting no time. Sixth frame. Down by a bunch and three six. Isn't pretty. And Kretzer, he knows what he wants to do with that spare. And he <laughs> that wasn't what he wants to do with that spare, not Kretzer. Finds himself in a giant hole. Hill can't take the nine down. Jovanovic got down to the approach area in a hurry. Seeing the back-to-back -back opens. By Kretzer and now Jovanovic. Get up by 30 just by filling the frame. Can't fill it any better in a 10 pin. Getting kicked out by the six. And Hill down 23. Jovanovic 
going to be up by 30. Get out to 40 for the strike. And I think Ivanovic knows how important this is. Doesn't want to be distracted by any strange noises. So he's going to defer to Maverick. Not a bad thing to do at this point. He knows Maverick, Maverick's going to throw before he will. There goes Maverick. Scrambles him up, takes him down. And a huge toss there by Ivanovic as the six kicks the ten. And a big lead now for Jovanovic. Yes, here's your scoreboard for Maverick and Hill. Maverick can get that out to 33. If he can pile on a double in the seventh frame. And Kretzer with the Stop and start. I would have thought it would have been a full restart. It doesn't happen. And now, yikes. It is not pretty for Kretzer at this point in time. And he's staring a third place finish in the face. Maverick, that needs some help to get back. Doesn't do it. And he should be happy it's just a two pin. One, two, eight for Kretzer. And that wasn't the prettiest of conversions, but frames now running out for Brian Kretzer. Maverick keeps his advantage at 23. Over to Kretzer, eighth frame. Still get the 208. <laughs> oh. That is uh, no fun, no bueno. And Kretz are just going to clean it up before Hill takes the lane. Oh, and I think BK has had it with the bad breaks. And Hill can't get the ball to peel properly. And he's going to leave himself 30 pins down with three frames to go. Let's get over to Jovanovic. He just needs to fill frames the rest of the way, no matter what Kretzer does. And now with that strike, he has a, a little room. Even for an open. How about this for Hill? Oh, it just misses tickling down the 10. And now the max is 222. For Chris Hill. 229 the pace already for Bailey Maverick. We got both players stepping up at the same time, but Hill's a little more deliberate in most cases, so Jovanovic looking to pretty much just end this. Let's end it with the trip four. And Hill gets the scramble, so a little hope still alive for Chris Hill, but the day now done for this man here. Brian Kretz is going to be taken home. The third place check back to Ohio and I'm sure we'll see a little bit more of Kretzer as the decades roll on <laughs> says he plans on bowling until he's 60 and then when his wife retires it's going to be sharing some road trips and having some good times so I heard him over that and Lounge here at Plaza Lanes last night, and that was a little unusual pinfall for Maverick, but how about that? How about that? As he gives you the fist bump. He can't believe it fell. Kretzer gets the uh, first shot in the 10th, but. And they're going to get a score correction for Maverick's late falling 10 pin. So Kretzer's 
just going to fire here. So we've got Jovanovic and Eugene McCune. In our PBA 50 championship match. And we're waiting to see who's going to take on Kevin McCune in our standard division championship match of this PBA Plaza Lanes Midwest Invitational. Good finish by Kretzer, but not enough to overcome. The, the man's come the striking machine in the step ladder. Anthony Ivanovic. And let's see what Maverick can do here. Foundation frame. Get this one close to over. Oh, wow. That hip came flying off the wall. So we'll stick with the spare by Maverick. As this would put him at that 229 pace. And that's going to put Hill into mandatory strike mode. And the cover's done. Chris Hill, mandatory strike mode here. Needs to get to that 222 to force a double out of Maverick. In the 10th frame, how about that for Hill? Clutch in the ninth. As Jovanovic opened the 10th frame. Hill coming into your picture. First ball, 10th. Pures it back. How about that? For Chris Hill. Maverick can do nothing but look on at the moment. Two, 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 max. Second ball of the tenth for Hill. Oh, the six just doesn't cut it. On the ten. So we'll just need a mark here at a Maverick. See a little gnawing on the jersey at the moment for Maverick. Actually, yeah, Maverick doesn't need, pardon me, one man show here. Maverick doesn't even need a mark. He just needs count. And still finished at 211. So, yeah, even six out is 211 for Maverick, so he just needs that. So there we go. We have our matches. Maverick and Kevin McCune. And Jovanovic and Eugene McCune dueling titles. McCune squared bowling for them here at the PBA 
Plaza Lanes Midwest Invitational. We'll have those championship matches after practice for the McCunes coming up next. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. Well, no matter what, it's a great day in PBA history today. Yeah, this is the first time, to my recollection, and I don't think it's ever happened in the past, let's be honest, that we've got the father and son bowling for a PBA regional title, not only just on the same weekend, but in the same bowling center, and they're both the number one seeds in their respective stepladder finals. Eugene McCune battling Anthony Ivanovich. Ivanovich has climbed the ladder. Kevin McCune battling Bailey Maverick. Maverick just took out Chris Hill in the semifinal match. And McCune's once again making history. They've done it before. First three generations of PBA Tour titleists to be had by the McCune family in PBA history. Now they have a chance to set another record. Father and son winning an event on the same day. I don't think it's something that Pete and Dick Weber have done. I, I, I don't know where you'd even go to check the archives on that. Last couple of balls of practice underway. So I'm $2 Phil Brylow. Thanks to Gary Alstott and his staff bringing us down with 10 of the deck directions to bring you this regional live streaming again this weekend. And we'll have some announcements from Toby Contreras. We'll have a last practice ball or two. And we'll be underway. But once again, I'd like to thank our season-long sponsors. We couldn't send you these live streams of PBA Regional Action without their help. BowlerX.com for the love of the game. Always fast, free shipping. BowlerX.com. 
and H5G brands. Check out the new Brad and Kyle lines. Get your Randyisms t-shirt. All kinds of designs you can do. You can be bold, you can be creative, and you can be original. And H5G brands is the company to help you do that. Once again, thanks to Gary Allstott, host proprietor here this weekend. His staff, Deborah Morgan, his staff, oh, phenomenal all weekend long. They put on a nice spread for the bowlers after every squad of the event yesterday. And, uh, the, hey, if you're invited to an event and they treat you like a king on top of it, you know they care. That's a no-doubter. And we know that Gary Allstott, I mean, he bowls enough PB850 tour events on the national tour, enough regional events as well. He's been to centers, and he knows what he wants to see when a when he gets a chance to host a tournament, and he's definitely done that this weekend. There you see Toby Contreras making the announcements. So interesting outlook for the McCunes, both taking a different approach to this championship match. Kevin McCune's going to fire first. And we know Kevin's not wasting any time, so let's get on it. And McCune with the 10. Whoops. We'll get back to that screen there. And we'll get you over to Ivanovich as he's going to be leading things off in the PBA 50 championship. Ivanovic goes high. 6-9-10. McCune did cover his 10-pin in the standard division. I have to make sure I use my Kevin's and Eugene's properly for this match. And the cover by Ivanovic in his opening frame of this championship. Maverick on target line, 10 back. Eugene didn't like it out of his hand. You see why it comes high. 3 6 10, or pardon me, gets a 10 out. 3 6 left for Eugene. And the fireball gets him two down. Eugene's going to take a seat for a second, get his thoughts back together. There you see Maverick opening double against Kevin McCune. McCune of Chem Variety has led this tournament pretty much the whole way since game two yesterday. The qualifying block. Eugene pretty much similar on the PBA 50 side. And there's the second frame strike. For Kevin McCune, Eugene McCune, working on the spare in the second frame. It's up and out. It's 10 back for Eugene. Third frame, Kevin McCune down by 10. And that did not look appropriate out of his hand real quick off the fingers not proper rotation and the bucket remains for McCune of the Kevin variety Jovanovic goes high once again straight at it and <laughs> it wasn't pretty but you see that spare go up on the board Kevin McCune. 
Kevin McCune finds himself down by 20 early. Ivanovich wasn't sure about the footwork. But he got it to go. Now Maverick on the double in the third frame. On target line. Oh, a slice is by the nine pin. Ivanovich on the spare. Gets them all down in the third frame. And two pins, the current advantage for Eugene McCune. And I know he's going to wait till Maverick throws. That's an interesting score. Two strikes and nine gives you 30 in the first. I'm sure we will get that fixed for Maverick. Over to McCune with the Eugene variety. Scrambles him up, double for Eugene McCune. Eugene patiently asks the crowd to keep it down right now. I don't know how they're going to be able to correct that score for Maverick. That's a little scoring glitch that the Brunswick scoring system has. I've seen it a couple times before back in World Series days at the South Point Bowling Center. Maverick back to striking. Double spare strike for Maverick. And Eugene not happy with the feel. A cough. I think it was a little bit of a cough he had going there. So, yeah, always good to uh, get the body together. Got the score corrected down in their standard division match. Let's get you back to Eugene as he's working on a double fourth frame. Oh, wrap 10. Over to Kevin McCune looking to stay close within six pins of Maverick. And Kevin McCune makes it so. It's got to be interesting for the McCunes right now. Just, you want to pay attention to the other one's game, but you need to focus on your task at hand. It, it can't be easy to just block it out a bit. And make things go. Beverage frame, McCune. Oh, gets the huge lucky break. Pin comes back across, takes out the 6-10. And that could be the momentum changer in that match. Ivanovich on a strike in the third, up in the fourth. Looking to get back to even, does so. Here's your score recap in our PBA 50 championship match. And here's your score recap in your PBA standard division championship match. Maverick looking to get back in the lead. If he can get his double here, fourth and fifth frame, which he does. Ivanovich looking to stretch it out to a three-bagger in the fifth frame. Scrambles him up nicely. And now Eugene McCune steps up first time this game, finds himself in arrears on the score sheet. There's where you sit currently in your PBA standard division with nine pins the advantage. Eugene McCune, he's going to wait before he fires. 
sequence. Zero distraction. Maverick, sixth frame, gets them all to go. Over to McCune of the Eugene variety. Looking to stay close. Six slaps the 10 beautifully. So Eugene finds himself down by 10 currently. Kevin looking to stay within nine. Oh, I thought that head pin was going to sail everything. <laughs> that shot for Kevin McCune. That got some altitude coming off the sideboards. Eugene McCune working on a strike in the fifth. Up in the sixth. Down by nine. Give him the lead temporarily. Kevin McCune looking to get the lead temporarily once again. Does it nicely. Nuke handles it. And a couple of barn burners going on right now. Here in Washington, Illinois, PBA and PBA 50. Midwest Invitationals. And Jovanovic four goes down for Anthony. Keeps that lead at nine pins, Maverick. Here you see he needs a strike here. Get his lead back to nine sticks. Scramble. Oh, <laughs> that is not the prettiest way for the four and eight pins to go down. But Maverick back in the lead. Jovanovic looking to extend. And he can roll a few pins down, but he cannot roll the two. And that is going to leave an opening. For Eugene McCune with Eugene working on that double. So Yovanovitch will step up first before Maverick. No problem on that cover for Yovanovitch. Maverick in the canoe temporarily extend his nine pin advantage. Oh, is it going to get to the seven? It doesn't. It doesn't get to the seven, and now the opening swings back to Kevin McCune. Let's see what Eugene can do here. The strike here gets Eugene a two-pin lead for the moment. He's asking for it to hook, and there you see the five-pin go between the four and the eight, and Eugene not happy with that result. Kevin McCune has a max of 270. Bailey Maverick, 258. So right now, if everybody throws strikes the rest of the way, as Eugene, we see the remnants of covering that spare. Eugene finds himself down by 10 pins to Anthony Ivanovich. With three frames remaining, let's get over to Kevin McCune. McCune the Kevin variety can find himself with the lead for the first time in this championship match. Stuffs it dead flush. Can't throw it any better in that situation. And now over to Eugene. Down by 10. Three frames remaining. And now you see right there, he knows how crucial that shot in the seventh frame was. And for that ball to go send the five between the four eight, just brutal. McCune to not get, oh look at that, to not get shut out. How about that for Kevin McCune? Just keep striking. It's all you can do sometimes in a championship match. Just keep striking. Ivanovich to stay up by 10 pins. And he responds. 
with a clutch strike. Here's your scoreboard on our standard division side. Once again, maximum score. For Maverick now, 2-5-8. He cannot shut out Kevin McCune. Six slaps the 10. So 258 still possible for Maverick. Yovanovic, 257. And a strike here for Yovanovic means Anthony can't get shut out. Stares it down. Dead money. Flush. Beautifully done by Yovanovic in this situation. Eugene not happy with the rack. He's going to take a re-rack. Let's get over to Maverick. First one here is going to force a mark out of Kevin McCune. And he gets the first one. There's your scoreboard. Over to Eugene. Must strike here to keep any hope alive. And he's going to make that move off that 4 8 in the seventh. Asked for it to push, and he gets it to push. He's making his way back as Maverick takes one of his two allowable re racks in this game. So our PBA 50 championship match, 10 pins the difference going into the 10th frame between McCune and Jovanovic. They're both working on doubles. Maverick looking to get to 258 and force some work. Oh, <laughs> collapse the 410. Oh, my goodness. How did Maverick get those to fall? And now it's going to take the first one in the 10th. Kevin McCune and good count to take home the title. And now Eugene... Some noise bothered them that time. I even heard it a little bit, but I don't know if it was someone's phone. It may have been someone's phone. Over the Maverick, looking to shut out his 10th frame. And he gets it. The goal late, the five tickles and goes. So two five eight. There you see the score for Bailey Maverick. Eugene McCune or Kevin McCune is going to need the first one in the tenth. Eugene McCune here is going to need all three in the tenth, most likely, at the rate that it's been striking. Oh no! And Eugene doesn't make it happen in the first ball of the tenth frame. Kevin McCune needs it, gets it. Nine spares, 259. And enough to win. For Kevin McCune. And that's going to need a Deadwood clear. That's some good distance. You know, Eugene not happy. He was taking it out on that one. Nine spare is a lock for a regional title for Kevin McCune. Oh no. Oh my goodness. The seven account is going to give Bailey Maverick the regional title. 258, 257, unbelievable finish here in Washington, Illinois. Let's get back over after Eugene had the Deadwood clear, that gutter ball not. Oh, oh no. Oh my. That's something we don't see very often. It's because the machine reset after the Deadwood clear. 
So we have a little delay here to get that fixed. What an unbelievable finish to our PBA standard division event. You wouldn't have thought a seven count was anywhere in play. For Kevin McCune in that situation. And there you go, you see the hugs and the handshake as Bailey Maverick's gonna take home that title. And now we've got Gary Allstott bringing a ball back for Eugene McCune as we had to reset that scoreboard. So Eugene gets the 10 to go on the last one. 226. And now a mark needed by Anthony Ivanovich to take home. This PBA regional title. On target line, 10 back. And what a shot by Anthony Ivanovich to lock things up here in Washington, Illinois. So your PBA. Plaza Lanes Midwest Invitational Champions for their art standard division. It's Bailey Maverick. And for our PBA 50 division, it's that man right there, Anthony Ivanovich. As Ivanovich puts up three huge games in the stepladder. Near perfection in the opening game. With 298, and he's going to put up a game in the 250s here. And we're going to add that banner for Jovanovic. It's the banners you see out over the lanes. There you go. There's your final score. 257, 226. <laughs> Eugene being a little funny with, uh, hey, that guy just keeps on rolling, but we have rolled for some titles, and there you see the big smile with Anthony Ivanovich. So we've got some checks and trophy presentations coming up momentarily. Well, it doesn't end up being the greatest of days for the McCune family, but it still ends up being really solid days for the McCunes. Runner-up finishes for both Kevin and Eugene. <laughs> As we see Eugene walking into the distance. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in on the Plaza Lanes Facebook feed. Appreciate everybody that came on board today. Please hit that share button. Let everybody know the, the great step ladder matches that happened today. You see Gary Allstadt, our host of Friday. For Gary Allstadt, all of his staff here at Plaza Lanes in Washington, Illinois.
for PBA Midwest Regional Manager Toby Contreras. For our sponsors, H5G Brands and BowlerX.com, I'm $2 Phil Brilo. Hey, parents, take the kids bowling because you know they're going to have fun for life. And we will see you in 2024 with PBA Regional live streaming coming to you thanks to 10 on the Deck Productions. Hope the holidays are good to everyone. Stay safe.